Hey guys, this is Cuber, and today I'll be showing you how square one notation works. So I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. My Pyramix notation video did really well, and also square one notation really confused me when I was newer at cubing. So let's just jump right into it. The basics of square one notation is that there are ordered pairs of numbers, and the numbers stand for how much you'll move the top layer, which is the first number, and the bottom layer, which is the second number. And usually there are parentheses around these sets of numbers, and then the slashes in between the ordered pairs mean to move the slice layer. Also, something that you want to do during square one algorithms is to hold the small part of the equator on the left and the long part on the right. And this is essential, or else you might end up doing the algorithm the wrong way. So basically, each edge is worth one number and each corner is worth two and this is because a corner is twice as wide in the angle as an edge is and basically this way no matter how much the puzzle shape shifts the each side each uh, the top and the bottom layer will each add up to 12 and this makes the algorithms easy to write so basically, if it's a positive number, then that layer will be moved clockwise. And if it's negative, then it'll be moved counterclockwise. Another thing is that the numbers will only range from negative 5 to 6. And basically, negative 5 would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and then 1, 2, three, four, five, and then six, which is a 180 degree turn. So negative six is basically the same thing as six. So let me give you an example algorithm. So let's suppose the first ordered pair is negative two, zero. And also you always have to pay attention to whether or not there's a slash at the beginning or end of an algorithm. That can change the entire thing. And in this case, there isn't. So let's start out with negative two, zero. That would look like just negative one, negative two. And then slash, three, zero, one, two, three. Slash, negative one, negative one. So this moves one counterclockwise, and this moves one counterclockwise, slash, and then negative two, one, slash. And that is an EP algorithm for square one. So I hope that this really helped with square one algorithms, and if you have any problems with square one notation, then just ask a question down in the comments and I will try to answer it as best I can. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.